I'm Michael Dancesek, Senior Professor of the Practice in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. And we're in Tulane's Center for Anatomical and Movement Sciences, which is part of the School of Science and Engineering. This is predominantly an educational facility. We're in the cadaver lab right now. And we have students from multiple disciplines that come in here. Most of them are typically preclinical. And we have students that are interested in medical school, nursing programs, physical therapy. So many of those require a full year anatomical sequence. And this is where at Tulane they get that experience. So in this facility we teach the undergraduate anatomy and physiology, which is a full year sequence, which is required for nursing students, PT students. It's not required for medical school students, however, a good percentage of the students who come into the lab are pre-med. We also have uh, a group of neuroscience students in here. Again, it's not a required course. Many of them may be preclinical. But one of the nice pieces for us is that has morphed into a class that we teach during the summer here. And that is a central nervous system and peripheral nervous system dissection. It's a five-week intensive class that allows students to completely dissect out the peripheral and central nervous system, including the craniotomy, the spinal cord, uh, and the brain. And that's been a real positive piece because after the class, we take those specimens and we donate them to the neuroscience program and the Department of Psychology. So again, the resources here extend beyond this particular lab. One of the great parts of this facility is that our undergraduate students get hands-on experience with putting in medical devices or using medical devices. And that is a, a real plus. If you're an engineer and you're trying to redesign something, the fact that you've been able to literally work on a body to insert a K-wire, to put in an interference screw, to extract a, a medical device even is really a, an experience that um, I think is extremely important for better understanding the nature of devices and how they interact with the human body. In the physiology lab, we have some ongoing student projects. One of them in particular that relates to New Orleans is we're working with older musicians. And in the project, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find ways in which we can reduce fatigue in these older musicians. Well, that's great for, from a performance standpoint, but one of the real benefits for this is it actually has the potential for reducing injury, particularly long-term injury in these musicians. Along with providing resources to Tulane students, we offer an outreach program to high schools and community colleges within the New Orleans area. This allows those students to come in and experience firsthand cadavers. They get hands-on experience with dissection and also get an opportunity to see structures that just can't be replicated in plastic or on a video. For the Center for Anatomical and Movement Sciences, one of the things, again, that we're very proud of and that we work very hard toward is including our industry partners. And we would very much like to increase our exposure, or the exposure of our students to the industry, and then also within the medical community here. New Orleans is getting a huge bioinnovation center, and being able to connect with that bioinnovation center, I think, is also a real plus, and something that I think the center uh, would benefit from, and then students who are in the center would also benefit from greatly.